Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at outline numbering. This feature you can see on the screen there, it's called multi-leveled list. So before I do that, let's just have a quick look at the normal numbering list. If I click on that, I'll get whatever style is default. And if I drop this list down, you can see that there are other options there I can select if I didn't want those. You've got all these different options, but let's say I go for this option and then I can type test, press enter, type test again, press enter, type test again. Now, if you press enter twice, it knocks that list off. If I don't want to knock that list off, I just have to go back up to the previous place where it was still on and then I can pick it up again. Now, if I want a space, I can hold my shift key down and press enter and press enter again. And every time I press enter, as long as I've got my shift key down, I'm creating a blank space. Now, if I let go of my shift key and then press enter, I get the next number. But I must type something because if I don't type, it'll be like doing two enters, which will then knock off the list like that. So that's how you do a basic numbered list. If I get rid of these, delete these. Now, on the multi-leveled list, if I click the option, and again, you've got different options. I'll just leave it on this one. When I type test and test again, you can move these lists indent down or up, depending where, wherever the number is. So if I click in front of the T of test, I can press the tab key or the indent button back to go back up, forward to go down. So this is how the outlined multi-leveled list works. If I press enter again, I'll get a B. I'll just do test again. Press enter, do a tab, test, press enter, test, and then press um, enter and then tab again. And then I get the next series of numbers down. And now if you go into the op options on these, um, you can see how many levels down there are. And you can you can define your own list. Um, you can go into a new list, or you can change it all through these different options. New list. So that's where we are at the moment. So you be go all the way down there, and you can create a new list where you're editing the space between the indent, the alignment and all those sort of things and you'll see see it sitting here however you've got to make sure that there is some sort of pattern to what you're doing otherwise this list will go totally out of sync you can change the font as well for these things you can put commas or full stops or brackets or whatever you want you can change the formats in there to be any of these formats whichever you want now i'll just cancel that off because i just want to mention something if i type test here and now let's say i want to go back I can go shift tab that will take me back up a level and then shift tab again it will take me back up a level again I'll put test now I can also use the indents and outdents to do the same thing if you're not if you can't remember about the key command now the good news is when you're using these outline lists if I get rid of this one in the newer versions of word when you use this list so this is the basic list now that's come across to this indent marker, which is remembering from before. So I'll just put that back across to the margin. So there's the body of the text. There's the, the number, so the first line, if you like. So if I type test, press enter, I get to press tab. It converts it straight away into an outline list, even though it hasn't jumped across to this. So let me just prove that to you. If I, if I type test, I'll get B. If I do a tab, if I get, press enter, do a tab, I get the same sort of list so the autocorrect basically is sussing out what you're trying to do here it's obviously trying to do a multi-leveled outline list so i'll do it for him uh if it, if you don't want to do that you just have to backspace and knock it off but i'll get rid of that get rid of everything just get rid of everything make sure i'm back to a plain document which i am now the good news is if i put some auto text on here um or some paragraphs on here, should I say? I'll just type anything in there. Here's my web address. And 
let's just type some rubbish right so now if you want to add um, a numbered list onto some text you've already got um, let's just see if I've got anything in auto text the quick parts that I can drop in no there's no auto text on there so I just, um, just, just type some text now if I want to put an, uh, an outline list on this I just need to select it select all the text and then go back to home and select the option I want that one and you get the option here is maybe that's the title so I don't want it on the title so I click the button off this then renumbers then let's say I want that to be an A it becomes an A and if I press enter I can do another paragraph etc etc and same thing happens for each paragraph and then you can also um, move these back so if I go up to the out dent that now becomes a 2 and if I want a space there if I press enter I get the C now obviously I don't want to have a C there so if I just backspace that off again what I need to do is hold my shift key down press enter and enter again just to make a bigger space and then I'll get the C type something hold the shift key down press enter so you get the space between so the shift key is what allows you to create the space but that's just uh, a quick look at outline multi-leveled lists this option and showing you that no matter which option you pick if you press tab it will create it will swap over to the the other one so that's the straightforward numbering list that's the multi-leveled list or outline numbering and they are the same if you start pressing your tab key during a list so hopefully that was useful to you and thank you for your time i'll see you on the next one